Top 20 Most Beautiful Places on Earth Waterfalls beneath the ocean floor, river in the sky, or rainbow-colored mountains, scenes that seem to only exist in heaven or the imagination of humans are actually present on our planet. Through the flow of millions of years of time, Earth now has countless beautiful landscapes, some created by the hand of nature, while others built by the intelligence and effort of humans. But the common point among them is that they all leave us in awe of the surrounding scenery when we set foot on them. All right, join me in the video of the 20 most beautiful places on Earth. I'll give you the most magnificent visual feast of your life. Number 20. Skywalk Wang Tingjia Tianmen. Starting our journey today, I'll take you right to a place known as the Gateway to Heaven, the Tianmen Glass Skywalk. According to the Chinese term Tianmen in the name of the Skywalk Wang Tingjia Tianmen, it means Heaven's Gate. This bridge stands at a height of about 500 meters from the ground and extends 368 meters out from the cliff. Adorning the 168 meter long transparent section of the walkway is an artificial waterfall system installed underneath the path. Adventurous souls will also get to witness the bridge transform at night thanks to the system of countless lighting effects from over 2,000 evenly distributed lights on the bridge. The Skywalk Huangting Jia Tianmen is designed with extremely high safety standards, costing nearly 40 million USD. From a distance, this colossal structure resembles two tennis rackets suspended in mid-air supported by three large columns. It can withstand the weight of 4,000 people at once. The Skywalk Huangting Jia Tianmen is currently rated 4A in China's tourist attraction ranking list, a five-tier rating system five are being the highest used by relevant authorities to evaluate the quality of tourist spots in terms of safety, cleanliness, hygiene, and transportation compared to other units in the same industry. Each year, it welcomes over 1 million visitors, with about 13,000 visitors coming here daily to experience it, especially during the peak summer months of July and August. Number 19. Undersea Waterfall Have you ever heard of an undersea waterfall before? Is there any place in the myriad beauties of nature as magical as this? Mauritius is an island nation located in the Indian Ocean, about 2,000 kilometers off the coast of the African continent to the southeast, a place known as a Paradise Island. One of the most unique and unparalleled landscapes of the island is the undersea waterfall. This spectacular site is a unique natural phenomenon. Most of the water around Mauritius is about 150 meters deep, however, the southern tip of the island has depths of up to 4,000 meters, creating this impressive waterfall. When viewed from afar, especially from an airplane, travelers will see what appears to be a giant waterfall under the sea. This amazing optical illusion can only be experienced from the air. In fact, this scene can be seen on Google Maps satellite view. However, this underwater waterfall is actually sand from the shore flowing down into deeper waters off the peninsula. Looking at it another way, this sea area is a beautiful palette of blue, green, and white. The harmony of these colors creates the magical illusion of a waterfall cascading into the sea. The decisive factor in creating this unique illusion is sand the intermediate color of the painting. The water currents created by waves crashing into the special terrain of the island have caused the sand layer at the bottom to be dispersed in the image of a natural waterfall, creating the illusion of sudden waves being pulled down below. From the top of Le Mans Brabant, with a height of 556 meters above sea level, visitors can climb up here to admire the panoramic view of this beautiful sea area. Along with other scenic spots and tourist destinations on the island, this waterfall has contributed significantly to attracting a large number of visitors here each year. Number 18. Jewel Changi Airport Lounge in Singapore. I always thought airports were just places for passengers to wait for their flights, but that's completely wrong in Singapore, where they've built an entire paradise garden for those preparing to board their planes. Changi Airport is the only airport in the Lion City of Singapore voted one of the best airports in the world. Not just a transit point for goods and international passengers in Singapore, Changi is also a giant entertainment complex, meeting all the needs of passengers, from travel, sightseeing, rest to dining when traveling to Singapore. Jewel Changi has an impressive donut-shaped exterior. 
The vaulted frame with steel and glass on the outside spans over 1.46 million square meters, allowing natural light to shine through during the day. Designed by world-renowned architect Moshi Safdi, the massive architectural structure consists of 10 floors and cost 1.25 billion USD to build. The jewel comprises 10 floors, 5 underground and 5 above grounds, with plenty to offer visitors. Some of the main attractions of Jewel Changi are Canopy Park, Rain Vortex and Forest Valley. The 40-meter high waterfall looks like it's falling from the sky. Along with a vast green space of trees in the Forest Valley, both are surely a treat for the senses. The sound of the world's largest waterfall and music around the Forest Valley echoes throughout the airport. Another interesting feature is the light show using the waterfall as a screen to project colors and digital sound. Jewel Changi Airport provides an unforgettable experience with plenty to offer at any time of the day. Number 17. A special gift that nature has bestowed upon mankind is what people say about Niagara Fall, one of the most magnificent natural waterfalls. This waterfall is located on the Niagara River, with a total length of flow of 56 kilometers, connecting the state of New York in the United States and the province of Ontario in Canada. Both countries provide conditions for tourists to fully and safely admire the waterfall. The entire landscape of Niagara Falls consists of three parts the Horseshoe Falls in Canada, the American Falls between the US-Canada border, and a smaller waterfall called Bridal Vale. Niagara Falls is one of the most attractive destinations in the Americas. Although located on the border between the United States and Canada, each side of the falls has its own unique beauty. If you have the opportunity to visit Niagara, you should take the time to admire the waterfall from the New York State USA side, as well as from the Ontario Province Canada side. Each side of the falls will give you a very different feeling, not only about the natural scenery, but also about the emotional experience. While the Canadian side offers entertainment, on the American side, tourists will experience the truly powerful energy flow of the incessant river. The majestic scenery of the falls blends charm both day and night. The rushing water creates white foam under the sunlight, creating rainbow colors that appear and disappear. When night falls, a high-pressure lighting system with various colors illuminates the scenery of the falls, making it glitter and mystical like a rainbow appearing at night. Niagara Falls has a large and stable water flow. The falls belong to the category with the largest water reserves in the world, with a thunderous sound that can be heard from miles away. The indigenous Indian people have long given the falls the name Niagara, meaning Thunder God of Water. Those who have been to this waterfall liken it to a place where you must not die before visiting. Number 16. Ruya Bridge. If you want to experience the feeling of floating hundreds of meters high without a safety harness, then come to Zhejiang, China, where the Ruyi Glass Bridge offers breathtaking views. The Ruyi Bridge is truly not for the faint-hearted. When videos and images of Ruyi appeared on social media, many people didn't believe it was real. They claimed it was fake. However, after flycam footage by Chris Hadfield was posted on Twitter, the bridge amazed everyone with its beauty. The bridge has a total length of 100 meters and is 140 meters high above the ground, spanning the Shengzhanju Valley. The Ruye Bridge consists of three winding bridges, and part of the bridge is made of transparent glass. The name of the bridge originates from its design resembling a scepter. According to the tradition of this country, the scepter symbolizes power and luck. The Ruye Bridge is described as a sturdy and soft shape that blends perfectly with the natural scenery. Like a Ruye jade in the sky, like a fairy weaving silk. The painting is like a landscape scroll, from afar it is a picturesque mountain, full of elegance. The bridge carries beauty and auspiciousness. Number 15. Antelope Canyon. Rarely does any place in the world allow tourists to see the exquisite curves of sandstone cliffs sculpted by wind, water, and elusive light penetrating through the mountains like the Antelope Canyon. This canyon is located in the Navajojo land of the state of Arizona, in the southwestern United States. It is a dream destination for many tourists and photographers. Antelope Canyon is like a mysterious gem for those who have witnessed its beauty. Antelope Canyon is considered a triple masterpiece and a wonder of nature. 
Nature has created a magnificent landscape for the United States without any human intervention. Here, you will witness the grandeur of nature and experience the uniqueness of creation. With its deep and narrow terrain, Antelope Canyon is formed by two winding mountain walls formed over millions of years by rains and floods. This has also created many different geological layers in the Antelope Canyon, but according to geological studies, it is mainly sandstone and limestone. Although the terrain is relatively narrow and extremely challenging, this is the attraction that attracts many tourists to come and experience once. Here, you will feel the sculptures with colors and shapes that are one of a kind. The special and charming features have made Antelope Canyon one of the most famous tourist destinations in the United States, attracting millions of tourists to come here to experience and explore every year. At the same time, Many photographers spend a long time capturing beautiful scenes with great colors and light. Number 14. Mana, Kerala, the land of the gods. Primeval forests, meadows, rugged hills, beautiful valleys, numerous streams, giant waterfalls, sprawling tea estates, and winding walking paths are all part of the wonderful vacation experience if you come to Mana, India. Hidden amidst the enchanting scenery is the largest tea-growing region in South India, Mana. Situated at an altitude of over 1,500 meters, this spectacular hill region boasts low mountain scenery, complete with an impressive veil of mist and clouds, offering you a surreal experience you crave. The beautiful shades of lush plantations, lovely hues of the blue sky, and breathtaking landscapes will begin to unfold in a way that transports you to a dreamy world. What makes this place truly a wonder is that despite being in the wetlands of Kerala, Mana has a pleasant climate year-round, with temperatures ranging from 0 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. From lush green trees to rich wildlife, and from vast tea fields to stunning waterfalls, everything Mana possesses has an inexplicable allure. Number 13. Sala de Uyuni. There is only one word to describe Sala de Uyuni and that is surreal. Sala de Uni is the largest salt flat in the world, covering over 10,500 square kilometers on the Altiplano Plateau in southwestern Bolivia. Located at an altitude of 3,650 meters above sea level, the terrain of the area is completely flat and dotted with small islands like Isla in Kawasi. Scientists have discovered that this area was part of Lake Minchin about 40,000 years ago, in prehistoric times, the lake covered the entire southwestern part of Bolivia. Over time, the water gradually receded, leaving only two small lakes, Pupo and Uru Uru, today. Fossilized coral can still be found in some caves, evidence of a past ocean that existed. The Altiplano Plateau has no outlet, so when the lake water evaporates under the harsh sun, layers of salt and calcium sulfate remain on the ground. Along with the wind, the salt dunes in Sala de Uyuni continuously change over time. During the rainy months in southwestern Bolivia, the thin layer of water turns Sala de Uyuni into a giant mirror, reflecting the sky, flamingos, cars, and even people. The climate here is very harsh, with freezing cold nights, strong winds, and rainfall only reaching 400 millimeters per year. Everyone who has been here says that this land has a surreal beauty, and the photos taken here seem to have been cut from science fiction movies. Number 12. Keno Cristel's River, Colombia. Without any chemicals, dyes, or human intervention, a river in Colombia still exhibits a variety of colors resembling a rainbow flowing long beneath the ground. The Keno Cristel's River in Colombia is considered by many as the most beautiful river in the world. Also known as the liquid rainbow, the river's vibrant colors are due to an aquatic plant called Macaria clavigera, a species unique to the Sierra de la Macarena, a mountain range located south of the capital Bogota. During the transition from the rainy season to the dry season, roughly from July to November, along with moss, various aquatic plants, and corals, the Macarena clavigera turns red clinging to the rocks along the nearly 100 kilometer river, creating a brilliant carpet of colors just below the water's surface. Tourists flock here to admire the dazzling scenery, with crystal clear water offering visitors the opportunity to observe the lives of underwater creatures and beautiful aquatic species. 
Green, blue, black, red, and yellow are the predominant colors. Local people say the best time to observe the aquatic plants is after a storm, when their colors are most vivid. The geological formation of the river has many sediments, and the rock blocks here are about 1.2 million years old. Combined with the abundant aquatic plants, they create unique colors for the Cano Cristels River. Number 11. Victoria Fall. Continuing our journey to the most beautiful wonders of the world, we now come to a place with a lot of different waters, the Victoria Falls. Recognized as the most beautiful and majestic waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls captivates adventurers with the magnificent beauty of the mysterious intersection of land, sky, water, and mountains. The natural scenery here appears extremely grand and majestic. Located on the Zambezi River between the borders of Zambia and Zimbabwe in Africa, Victoria Falls is recognized as the most magnificent natural wonder in the world. Discovered in 1855 by the Scottish explorer David Livingstone, it was named after Queen Victoria. In the local language, the waterfall is called Mosi Oe Tunya, meaning the smoke that thunders. True to its name, the natural picture of Victoria Falls is extremely magnificent and grand. The water flow here is very large, and the sound of water pouring down the gorge is like the thundering sky. Burst of thunder. Victoria Falls is not a continuous flow but is divided by two large islands, Boruku and Livingstone. Raining over them on different flows the Devil's Cataract, the Rainbow Falls, the Main Falls, and the Eastern Falls. With such a majestic scene, it is said that you can see the mist from the falls from up to 50 kilometers away. Especially in 1905, when a railway bridge was built across the Zambezi River nearby. So you can cross the bridge to fully admire this magnificent landscape. Once again, we all have to admit that Victoria Falls is truly a magnificent wonder bestowed by Mother Nature upon this earth. Number 10. Renisfjara Beach, Iceland. We are all too familiar with golden sandy beaches and beautiful azure sea waters, but today I want to take you to a beach where the sand is black and the surrounding scenery looks like after doomsday. That is Renisfjara Beach, the black sand beach. Renisfjara Beach is located in southern Iceland, about 177 kilometers from the capital Reykjavik, surrounded by majestic plateaus and towering cliffs. This place was voted by National Geographic magazine as one of the 10 beaches worth visiting most on the planet. According to Icelandic folklore, in ancient times there were demons in the sea, which often appeared and dragged ships from afar to the shore. Then, one day, unable to escape before the sunrise, the black demons turned into stone, becoming mysterious black basalt rocks. When visiting this area, tourists will feel like they are lost in a fantasy world, as the space and scenery here are beautiful and magical to the point of being overwhelming. One thing to note is that visitors are not allowed to swim at this beach mainly because the waves at Renisfjara are particularly strong and brutal. People are usually advised to just take a walk, always maintain a minimum safe distance of 30 meters, and never turn their backs on the sea waves. Additionally, tourists can visit the town of Vik, about a 10-minute drive from Renisfjara, Vik is a small town but famous for its hotels, restaurants, and interesting attractions such as the Rinnestranga Sea Stacks, which are very special standing rocks on the sea. Number 9. Rainbow Mountain. Forget about the black sand beach in Iceland for a moment and let me take you to a place with vibrant colors, the Vinikunka Mountain, also known as Rainbow Mountain. Vinikunka is renowned for its colorful and peculiar rainbow-like appearance, situated in the Andes mountain range, southeast of Cusco City, Canches Province, Peru. At nearly 5,000 meters high, the Rainbow Mountain was hidden under thick layers of ice for many years. However, as temperatures rise and the snow begins to melt, the breathtaking scenery of this place gradually reveals itself, attracting a large number of tourists. The mountain peaks showcase vivid colors of red clay, lavender, and turquoise, brought to life by various mineral deposits and the Macania clavigera plant, native to the Sierra de la Macarena mountain range. The Rainbow Mountain is notoriously challenging to find as it is tucked deep within the Andes. Some adventurers may spend up to six days trekking to reach this remote location. However, the effort is undoubtedly worthwhile, 
as this mountain will truly leave you exhilarated by its beauty. Number 8. Oye, Greece. If you are a fan of fairy tales, then head straight to the village of Oya, Greece, where storybook scenes come to life before your eyes. As one of the 220 islands in the Cyclades archipelago of Greece, Santorini is a small remnant of the former continent of Atlantis, and its heart is the village of Oya, a real-life fairy tale. Perched above the vast expanse of the sea with waves lapping against its shores, Oya stands out with its whitewashed, quaint houses nestled on hillsides overlooking the sea. Most houses are painted in pristine white, with roofs and windows accented in Aegean blue, reminiscent of the Greek flag, complemented by vibrant bougainvillea flowers, swaying in harmony with the deep blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea, creating an incredibly beautiful and romantic scene. No wonder this is a paradise for couples. Oya is also one of the best places in the world to witness the most stunning sunsets. As dusk envelops the sky, people flock here to witness the magical moments as the sun transitions from golden to crimson, casting its glow across the sky until darkness falls. The entire sea appears like a vast fiery cauldron, the water shifting from deep blue to sparkling silver and mystical. When traveling to Greece, don't forget to visit this fantastic destination. Number 7. Luoping Rape Seed Fields, China. With the second largest land area in the world, China boasts many magnificent landscapes and the rape seed fields of Luoping are one of them. It is a golden paradise that attracts tourists from all over the world to visit at the end of every winter and the beginning of spring each year. Luoping is a mountainous county located in the remote countryside of Yunnan Province, China. It is almost entirely detached from the modern hustle and bustle of major cities. There, you will find only a pristine natural landscape with small, peaceful villages nestled amidst vast fields of golden rapeseed. seed. When you have the opportunity to travel to China, you should explore the Luoping rape seed fields. This place exudes the breath of the plateau. There, you can immerse yourself in a pristine, tranquil natural landscape and enjoy the most beautiful, gentle moments. For many years, Luoping has become known as a destination in China that many tourists are familiar with. The vast expanses of golden rapeseed fields have turned this place into a stunning paradise to visit every spring. It's hard to describe the feeling of standing amidst millions of blooming flowers, so the best way is for you to experience it yourself. Number 6. The Door to Hell The Darvaza Crater a famous landmark in Turkmenistan with the nickname the Door to Hell has been burning continuously for decades and its origins likely stem from an incident during the Cold War era. Images of flames bursting from the depths of the crater, coupled with unsubstantiated stories about the origin of the Door to Hell, have made it a tourist attraction in the Republic of Turkmenistan. No one knows for sure about its origin, but many believe that sometime between the 1960s and 1980s, Soviet engineers drilled for natural gas in the area, causing a rupture that released a pocket of methane gas. It's possible that the engineers attempted to burn off the methane gas, hoping it would quickly burn out, but it's also possible that someone tossed a cigarette into the hole, inadvertently igniting the flames. The flames emanating from the depths of the earth leave a sense of awe and fear in anyone who visits this place for the first time, with many jokingly saying they fear that mythical creatures might emerge from the depths. But in reality, despite its hellish appearance, the Darvaza crater is not as eerie as one might think. Also known as the Gates of Hell, it lies above the Amudarya Basin, a geological formation containing vast reserves of oil and natural gas, primarily methane, and those flames will continue to burn until all the gas deep beneath the Earth's surface is exhausted. Number 5. Mount Fuji. It would be truly incomplete if this list did not include a beautiful mountain, a pride, and an icon of Japan. That is Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is a linear volcano standing at 3,776 meters high, making it the tallest mountain in Japan. The mountain has a distinctive shape with a round summit, and it is snow-capped throughout the year. From a distance, Mount Fuji resembles a natural artwork with gentle curves and dazzling light on the white snow. 
Compared to many other mountains, Mount Fuji is narrower, but this does not diminish its solemnity and beauty. With its enchanting beauty and majestic scenery, Mount Fuji has become the subject of many paintings, poems, and traditional Japanese stories. Climbing Mount Fuji is a popular and exciting activity for tourists to participate in. The climbing season mainly takes place from July to September, when the weather in Japan is stable and the snow has melted. Along the climb, tourists will experience breathtaking landscapes with golden fields, sparkling blue lakes, and white sandy beaches. The scenery becomes even more special at dawn or dusk when the light creates a magical space. Upon reaching the summit of Mount Fuji, tourists will be rewarded with a sense of accomplishment and awe. The magnificent landscape from the mountain top will make you feel small in the face of the greatness of nature. Tourists can admire the surrounding scenery, take commemorative photos, and enjoy a meal at the summit. This will surely be one of the greatest experiences in the life of every tourist. Number 4. Old Bagan. Goodbye Japan, and now we will visit a sacred place of Buddhism, where many ancient and mysterious relics are preserved, that is Old Bagan in Myanmar. Bagan is an indispensable destination in tours to Myanmar. People often say that a visit to Myanmar without seeing Bagan is a bigger mission. Bagan is the ancient capital of Myanmar, where the most unique system of temple architecture in the world is concentrated. The ancient and mysterious beauty of Bagan always captivates every tourist. Bagan was once the ancient capital of Myanmar, formerly known as Pagan. It was the capital of the powerful Pagan kingdom from the 9th to the 13th centuries. Therefore, Bagan now has countless ancient structures left over from the ancient Pagan civilization. The city of Bagan is located in the central region of Myanmar, covering an area of about 25 square miles. Bagan used to have over 10,000 temples and monasteries built from the early days of the introduction of Buddhism into Myanmar. Nowadays, Bagan preserves only over 2,000 beautiful ancient temples and pagodas, with the rest heavily damaged. Bagan is often compared to the Angkor Wat complex in Cambodia and Borobudur in Indonesia. The landscape in Bagan is almost still preserved in its original simplicity and natural beauty. Therefore, you will be able to admire the extremely natural and beautiful beauty. To admire the entire unique temple complex in Bagan, the option of exploring Bagan by hot air balloon is the perfect choice favored by domestic and international tourists. From the hot air balloon, you will see the magical beauty of this Myanmar Buddhist sanctuary, with shimmering spires in the lush green backdrop of the tropical region, voted one of the most beautiful scenes in the world. Number 3. Machu Picchu, Peru, separated by half the globe, but the ancient city of Machu Picchu in Peru shares many similarities with Bagan in Myanmar, and the most noticeable commonality is that they are both incredibly beautiful and mysterious regions. Machu Picchu, the ancient city, is one of the greatest architectural wonders on the planet and was only discovered in the 20th century. Today, the city attracts a large number of tourists to explore its magnificent beauty and marvel at the scientific marvels that are still not fully explained. Machu Picchu was built around 1450 during the peak of the powerful Inca Empire. Today, this ancient city still boasts impressive stone walls. Here, you will be amazed to see the stones stacked on top of each other without any adhesive material, but still incredibly sturdy and firm. Machu Picchu was recognized as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in 1983. The mysterious beauty of this ancient city has attracted many tourists from around the world. Therefore, Peruvian tourism managers have limited the number of tourists allowed to visit the ancient city in just one day. Visiting Machu Picchu, you will have countless new discoveries and will be amazed at this great architectural marvel. It is also the most attractive destination for domestic tours in Peru, the giant stones here are arranged systematically neatly and perfectly to every millimeter. To this day, no scientist has been able to explain how the ancient Incas could lift large stones high and connect them so firmly. Even more surprising is that the ancient Incas built walls with tightly sealed stone blocks without any gaps and extremely firm. You will admire the magnificent terraces surrounding the structures, which used to be the place to provide food for the city's residents. The stone walls stacked along the giant terraces to reduce erosion and landslide risks. 
You also cannot miss the Temple of the Sun, which is still quite intact with an incredibly intricate and special cylindrical structure. Nowadays, moss has covered the walls of the city, creating a beautiful green color. In addition, here you can also see the valley below with the winding Urubamba River, majestic and peaceful mountains. Number 2. The Red Beach of China Many people will think of the Red Sea in the Mediterranean when they hear this name, but that is not the sea in the true sense of the word. The bright red color of this beach in China is not due to sand or volcanic ash, as many people think. The Red Beach in China is located in Panjin Town, Liaoning Province, China. The scenery here always impresses visitors. Unlike the beaches in our imagination with white sand, blue sea, and many coconut trees with bright sunlight, on the contrary, the red beach is covered in a brilliant red color every autumn. Sand is probably the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about a beach. However, this is not the case with the red beach in China. In fact, it is red and not covered by sand. This phenomenon is caused by a red plant called suida. It starts growing in April and May, then remains green throughout the summer, but starts to turn bright red in autumn. The Red Beach is located in the largest wetland and reed marsh area in the world. In fact, the most complete ecosystem possible can be found a nature reserve has become home to more than 260 species of birds and 399 species of wild animals. You can find crown cranes and the endangered black-faced spoonbill there. That's why the famous beach is even called the homeland of cranes. To keep the nature beautiful and its residents safe, this area was declared a state protected area in 1988. Although most of the Red Beach is closed to the public, there is still a small area operating as a tourist attraction. Number 1. The Eruption of Calbuco Volcano Volcanic eruptions are one of the worst natural disasters, but can you believe that the photos or videos of them are considered beautiful? A volcano named Calbuco in southern Chile erupted for the first time in 42 years. The eruption released a large amount of ash into the atmosphere and forced people within a 24-mile radius to evacuate. However, this eruption created a beautiful scene with images of billowing ash clouds in the air. Smoke and lava flow from the Calbuco volcano, seen from Lake Lanquihue in Puerto Varas, Chile. The Calbuco volcano in southern Chile erupted for the first time in 2015 after more than a decade of dormancy, creating a dense ash plume that rose several miles. In fact, they are not beautiful in the usual way we often think. The beauty of the, of the eruption comes with a bit of fear and the feeling of human insignificance in front of Mother Nature. From beautiful waterfalls, majestic mountains, or impressive structures of human civilization, our planet is hiding many, many more wonderful landscapes that you and I have yet to discover. But it's okay, by subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications, we will continue to accompany you on the upcoming journeys. I promise to take you to even more wonderful and mysterious lands.